DeMarco, back home from Atlanta recently. The fallen soldier DJ hitting the scales these days and happy with this version of his former self. Vicious. Jungle attack. Wonder. Last year, January 2017, the DJ and music producer moving from Kingston to Atlanta to learn more about the business of music. A lot of artists out here, they don't, they don't understand the, the business part. You know, they just know about the, the, the ad songs them and, the, and then them just get the show them and the, the show money come in, but they don't see the, 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 the long the long term money. Is, I mean, that is the publishing, the royalties, all of them things. So. Along with that, you felt that maybe in terms of your career as a DJ in Jamaica, you'd come to a dead end? No, that, that can't happen for me. Cause, all right, I wear many hats, you know. I'm a producer, I'm a songwriter, I'm an engineer, I'm an artist, all of them things. So it can't be a dead end for the marker. You see me? I just, just write some music for Rihanna. So, <laughs> it will be dead end for me. So, has his time in Atlanta been well spent? You know, I have my own publishing company, my record label, everything put together well. So, when me ready to put out a song now, when I just press one button, everything green light, me ready. And there's not a problem with being a DJ long distance from Atlanta and still being relevant in Jamaica? Um, that's why I'm there now. <laughs> you see me? My day I know because I'm ready for you know start show out the music again. I'm gonna tell the people them to about Charlie Black song because enough people don't know that I create that beat as well. Party animal. So the party animal beat was a beat that you created. Yes, for so you're, Riley. And you're cleaning up with that publishing. That's, it, that's, that's what I'm telling you. The, the, you have to look for the, 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 the long run, the, the publishing money, that is for me. Kids, them and everybody who are going to come after me, my family. You understand? And there's no issue with Charlie Black about who created that beat. No, though. no, it's no you, issue. You guys, that's, that's all, that's yeah, all man, straight, everything is good. straight ahead business. Yes, sir. What? You want? You want? I got my Lamborghini for you. Noah Holloway with Akon was a shot in the arm. DeMarco was also busy getting in shape after leaving home. Yeah, man, slim and wear, no? <laughs> you lost some weight? Well, he... How many pounds you lost? Um, I think about, about 80 pounds. So what, you went on a diet? I don't you went eat, to the I, gym? I don't eat meat anymore. So what about the workout? You did that part yeah, of the like gym? Yeah, like probably two days a week. Two, three days a week. Why you felt you had to do that? Um, Why was that a part of the whole? I mean, you need to be healthy. Of being there, health-wise first, and then you know you have to look good. So you know, girl, them say look good now, you know, you know. So them, how are you feeling as a result of that? I'm feeling great. Everything better, you know. You Performance-wise, you had health issues before. Um, I mean, I'm I'm diabetic. <laughs> When people saw you, what was your reaction? When they realized that um, you were, DeMarco was back in town, them, what sort of reaction you got? Because I come like it's a new person. Them see now because, because I couldn't believe the transformation. The and everything, and them must say, oh, my teeth are white, and these things, you understand? So, I don't know. Did tell. you get any flack, like, from people here that DeMarco ran away because he couldn't take the heat in, in the Jamaican dance hall, and so he had to go to the States, or you got any of that? No, I mean, you have look at naysayers, them are gonna say whatever, but that not fears me though. I'm still make my money. And, uh, where is it? Where is it? Enough song me sing. We'll never play one day in a Jamaica. But when me go over Africa in front of 20,000 people, me have to sing that song, the last song, that is the last song me have to sing, because that is my biggest song in Africa. So that's why I say when, when people say, oh, I'm not at a yard, I'm not at the so. I told the world. Can you just come back to Jamaica and immediately reestablish DeMarcus' presence here as a, as a DJ? Of course, but... Or it's going to take some work? No, my presence never leave though, because every night, um, numerous songs play for me every night. 
a classic music me singers stuff that is classic even when a girl, girl tune a classic lazy body the whole of them sang there play every night i love my life look how long me do that i still play it's one of the things you left behind when you left jamaica you left that sort of rivalry kind of feuding vibe with people like Massacre and people like Movado. You, you into that still or is that just bad for business? I don't find that. A music me a deal in music and money. That, them things they don't sell. So what's selling? Hard to find much new music out of Jamaica on the mainstream charts in the US. Current hits playing in Jamaican sessions in Atlanta, but not crossing over to the hip hop clubs. You're gonna hear a Siran in our games, you're gonna hear Demarco I Love My Life, you're gonna hear Beanie Man, Roman Red Bull, you're gonna hear um, Tancho Mecha and Devante. Why hasn't more dancehall, more recent dancehall crossed over? If you really check all of the song, them, when we just um, list out, it's English in the chorus. I'm drinking rum and Red Bull. I love my life, you see me? Everyone falls in love. If the artist them want to take it to another level and dip on the, 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 um, the mainstream radio and them things, you, you, you have to sing songs that you say in English in the chorus. You can talk all the patois you want in the verse, them, but the, the, the Americans, them wait, them wait till the chorus come back for them to start singing. They're on a good beat, hit that. Says a project with six DJ Chronic Law is in the pipeline. Him the youth. I'm bad. What you rate about him? Lyrics them. When put him sang them together. And you know, a fatty would try to do him thing. Is it me and him around the place too? DeMarco already back in Atlanta, but not before doing a music video with Yannick, shortly after the curvy diva provoked uproar on social media after removing her underwear at a public venue. From your point of view, is that a good publicity stunt or is that something which could damage her image? I mean, I think it can damage her image. And she take off her underwear. In public. But did they see underneath her? No? Okay, then yo. You would have to refer to the, cam <laughs> the camera image on yeah, the social media. If they can't see media. underneath her and see her, her goods, her property, or whatever, then it's okay. I mean, see nothing wrong with it. What she do? You have a goal in terms of weight loss? One reach both probably 200. How much you weigh right now? Um, 230. And your goal is 200? Yes. You're giving yourself a timeline to achieve that? No. You're happy to be back in Jamaica? Yes, of course. Jamaica, <laughs> Jamaica nice. What's nice about Atlanta? Um, the nightlife nice at Atlanta. The club scene, all of them things there. And, you know, girl, them turn up over. <laughs> girl, them turn up over Atlanta. You don't know, yeah.